All right, let's get back to it, shall we? If this were a server, I was gonna say, if this were a server, my leather would be done, but I must have left it being done before. Now we can actually get that made. Woohoo! Are we ready? Oh, I have it all in my inventory, don't I? Yes! Oh, I'm so happy about this. So happy about this. You are just have no idea. Now, the other thing I want to make is the band of mana. So we're going to do that because I have the mana steel that I need. And the band of mana stores mana in it. Let's switch this over so it fills it up. And that way my sojourner's sash will work and I won't have to fill up an inventory slot with uh yep okay so for those of you who have never played Bantani before you can now see within my exp bar it is kind of like at a blue flashy about halfway that is my mana consumption so Got that. Sorry, I was just looking at my bit boss. I forgot that I had turned on that follows and subscriptions also attack the boss. Isn't that awesome? All right, let's put this in there. We'll do a quick sleep. Oh, so much fasting, faster walking, faster walking. Love it. Aha! Now, did we finish another quest? We do have a few more quests done. We've got mana powder and mana steel. We don't have a whole lot of pearls. Oh good, it only requires one. So let's take care of that. Oh, thank you, Sojourner Sash. <laughs> Point you back somewhere so that I'm not wasting mana. So we finished that, and we get another one. We did the diamond already once before, but we should probably do another one. We'll just do three. more for that and now we've gotten that whole line done this requires us to open up the portal to Alfheim before we can go any further into this quest line um, this requires the four elements don't even know what four seasons the four I don't see the four elements um quest is it hidden somewhere you can see this has got a double line here i wonder Let's see if i zoom in further no it's just doesn't exist I bet there's supposed to be one here. Well, we're gonna print screen that. Send it to the developer. All right. Yay, that's it. 
So what we want to do now, the next bobble that I want is... Da, 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 da. These are named different things. Oh, that's not a bad thing, by the way. It's just the previous playthroughs of Batania have been in earlier models. So, like, I don't even know what this one is. Speed you up the more you want. Oh, I see how that one works. Halo. Um, maybe I can't make it just yet. Nope, I can. There, there, there is. Assembly Halo. <laughs> I would like a crafting table that I don't have to keep crafting because I've got like 50 bazillion. And that's a real term. Laying around the world because I keep needing one and I can't find one. last one I made. So we're going to make this. Yay. Um, I only have three pieces. There we go. Get that, one of these, three of these. Oh, I'm gonna be so happy. Alright, so the other bonus of this, when I hold it up, it's got a crafting table, but it also has nine slots that you can save recipes in. It's for auto crafting purposes. Isn't that awesome? That's amazing. I love this. This is like one of my favorite Britannia baubles. The other one, being a builder, um, let's see if I can remember what it's called. It is... Oh, I don't see it. It might be... What is this? I never... Sweep to the side to dodge attacks. That's fascinating. Um, what I'm thinking of is to help you build. It's a circle maker, essentially. And I can't remember the name of it. So, I'm not sure if it means that it's an item that I can't make just yet. Definitely want to get into making uh, some of these awesome rods. Stone spellbinding cloth. That's helpful. Um, spellbinding cloth will remove enchants. So if you get something that goofed on an enchant, you can take it off. That's extremely helpful. Um, I want to make these thorn chakrams. They have, I think there are. There's an uh, upgraded version. Um, the Thorn Chakrams are, in my opinion, better than Tinker's Shurikens. There it is, the World Shaper Sextant. That is, that is exactly the tool that I want. It makes circles. There you go. I could make that. Let's do. Is it three that it needs? Yep, and then I just need the four mana steel. Ah, this will be nice and helpful for our Ars Magica, not Ars Magica, um, Astral Sorcery, Floating Islands, Towers, Fantasy, Castle thing. So if I were to shift right click on this spot, this is the center of where my circle wants to be, and I back up, you can see it's counting the size of the circle. And say I want the circle to be a seven. Um, well, and I let go. It creates ghost blocks of what a seven radius circle would look like. And then you just double click it. You just click it, right click it, sorry, again, and it shuts it off. Awesome tool, awesome, awesome tool. That'll be very helpful for that, for me. Um, what other baubles? 
anyone else think of any cool Batania baubles that I should get into? Um, before we do more progression on this. I can't remember if the Shards of Laputa, if you can, if you right click on a spot. Um, the Ma Majora's Mask? Um, is that something I could make this early on? not even listening. This is the name of it. Ancient Mask. Oh, I wouldn't know. I have not played Zelda, unfortunately. That's just cosmetic. Aha. It's interesting looking. Um, it must be one of those secret decorative cosmetic items. It's kind of interesting. I'm not against checking it out when I have the dye. I don't have the flowers right now. Um, those chakra might be dust. The rod of the skies is nice if I used a glider of some sort, and I don't have- I haven't gone to the end, so I don't have an elytra, but the Rod of the Skies is extremely helpful with an elytra. Um, let's see how to make those chakram. Yep, that's the upgraded version. Vines- oh, Terra Steel. Yeah. <laughs> we have some steps to get to Terra Steel. Apparently you can melt it down and turn it into other things again. Can you use it for parts? Oh, you can. Aha. Gotcha. Yeah, we have a long way to go before we can set up Terra Steel. We need, we need reliable and fast mana production that is not just one wimpy end of flame. Um, as far as mana production, right now I think we're only access- we have very few options until we open the, um, portal. And I very much prefer the Gormorillus or the Entropinium. The Thermalily would be more usable if we had actually additions. Oh, the fire resist bubble. Oh my gosh, yes, the pyroclast pendant. Oh, that is just. Oh, that's summer as well. Slime ball, sand, melon. We have all. Of, we have these already made too. Okay, let's go see where we have a slime ball melon into sand. Here's the two sand. Slime ball. Don't have melon in there. I still have food over here, I think. There's no melon. Oh, there it is. Melon. Let's sleep. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I really want to replace these with something other than cobblestone. Oh, something else I just thought of. I think one of these is full. This one's not even running. I haven't made seeds for it yet. That's something we might work on after we do this. Okay. This is made in the runic altar. 
So we need this out of turnip soup. We should make some cookies and make some mana cookies. Um, powder. You. I have that already in my inventory. Okay. Those. And then it's. Yes, and. Oh, one more sand. Slime ball, melon, two sand. Oh, it's not the. That's right, because it's a tier two. Tier two don't need the mana infused bits. There we go. Do I have... I need to upgrade my toolbox, I think. It's getting full. I have no room for that. What did you just see? 199, 710. What, what? Oh, I need you, and I need. Fire. What was close to- t oh wait, yeah! Your mod pack? There's our problem. Um, I only have the one nether wart right now. Let's plant it. Where is the one nether wart? Wait, I think I just saw it. How dare you miss one of Quiz streams? <laughs> I only have one piece of soul sand? What the heck was I thinking? Obviously not thinking of growing this fast. Alright, well, so we're on hold for the Pyroclast Pendant because we need nether wart. So, uh, let's take a look at our list of stuff over here. Tanya start, dark steel armor. I'm uh, considering doing Batania armor instead of dark steel. I don't know. Cooking for blockheads, astral sorcery. We could essentially say we're pretty much getting into Batania. Um. So... Let's think about another resource seed to put in that cloche. I have everything but ice seeds in the tier one running. So tier two, fire, dye, nether, coal. That would be nice for those, the end of flames. Silicon, nether seeds would be nice, I think. Aluminum, copper. Marble. I wonder if this is compatible with Astral Sorcery Marble. Limestone Basalt. Hmm. Well, I think because our power needs are so low. I mean, a fire would be really helpful for building. Coal. Which one do we want to start with? 
What does each of them need? Well, I have this stuff in my inventory, or not necessarily in my inventory, but this I could slap together pretty quickly, I think. Let's find out. We'll do fire. We've got some of this. Um... Let's see that recipe again for fire. The tier 2 crafting seed is a tier 1 crafting seed, which is the base seed. I need prosperity. Where is that stuff? Whoop! It's over here now. Alright. That should make the base seed. And then it comes over here. And then... What are we doing? We need to make the tier two, which is Prudentium. That is four of those. I have Supremium or Superium. So that that why you no go. Oh, it's because I need the Ethereum first. Uh. should be able to do this. Alright, and then the next step I need four more of these and a lava bucket. And the lava bucket is in my toolbox. All right, fire seed, fire seed, go! Oh, hang on. I need a drawer. Looks like I only have combo drawers. I don't. I want one of you. There we go. Go, my little seed. All right, so these 36 stacks, this is just gonna go and go and go for quite a while. There we go, fire essence, yay. All right. Um, further Britannia toys, since we have to wait till Terra Steel for the thorns, I might want to Figuring out what let's do f let's do a flower farm first. We'll do the extremely basic one that is just the two tall uh, flowers because that'll be easy to clean up when I moved the Botania stuff to its permanent home. All right, we'll just do it right here. We need one of each flower. It does appear we are going to need to go hunting for a few. All right. I love that they sparkle in the ground. 
I'm so gonna be using that mechanic, just so you guys know, when I go to build the enchanted forest where the Batania stuff will reside. Woohoo! No, Maximus. Get down. No room. No storage. Whatever shall we do? Why, we just slap down another chest. That's what we do. Okay. Need light gray, cyan. It looks like white and dark gray so far. Um. Oh, and black. White, dark gray, and black are the ones that we need to find flowers for. this go into my pouch? I need all the space I can get. Do I have more room this way? Alright. all of them that I have. Okay. Yay. We're going on a flower hunt. We're going on a flower hunt. Don't need you with you. My back Toolbox needs to be upgraded, but we need white, dark gray, and black. White, dark gray, and black. The others that we have that are zeros, we have one of. So we can actually fill it up so that we know what we're looking for. Um. The ones we have here, orange, light blue, brown. Um, so we do this with the brown one. Come on. You can turn it into more petals. You can see that. So now we have more petals. And then we just bone meal it again. So that's how this works. Alright. Um, I have covered quite a bit of this general area, but we're going to go around the, um, the cliff build there and see if we can't find some white, dark gray, and black mystical petals real quick. And this will go a lot faster now that I have the Sojourner's Sash, so that is a bonus. We do have a jetpack, but I sure feel like I'm flying a lot slower with it than I am running. So, that's odd, right? Probably because it's a low-tier jetpack. Need to upgrade that eventually as well. So far I'm only seeing vanilla and a bunch of grass. There's an Animania chicken. Is this a... Yeah, Leghorn. Aren't you pretty? Let's see. There's Blue with another Leghorn. Hmm. 
there was my building tutorial last stream. I haven't torn it down yet. Um, I do plan on doing more of that style of teaching how to build for those of you who feel overwhelmed with building in this game. I will be able to give you tips and tricks, hopefully, on improving upon really basic builds and then maybe even doing some chisel and bits tutorials. Maybe. A Rhode Island Red. All right. I know these are not the flowers we're looking for. These are not the flowers you're looking for. That's a male. He's got horns. I am looking forward to exploring that mod back. The not mod, the mod that adds the animals and the way animals work in this game. Got ya. Thank you for the follow, OG Smiley. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Creepy spiders! Oh, the creepy spiders. All the creepy spiders. Lots of creepy spiders, goodness. Well, we got the blues. Come on. Why is it so hard to find the ones that you're looking for? Oh, oh the creepers. In this mod pack, they turn into confetti, so I'm not too worried. Oh, I got a head. Yay. And I forgot I sharpened my sword. My astral sorcery sword is really sharp still. Yeah, 84%. Alright, let's head up here and see if there's any flowers in whatever biome this is. The tundra. There's red! I see a skelly over there, or was that a sheep? That's a skelly. We're not interested in you. This is pretty, though, with the blue schist coming through the cliffs. That's really pretty. There's a lot of really pretty places to build in this on this uh, world. I sometimes get overwhelmed when I run around and I'm like, Ooh, I want to build there, and I want to build there, and I want to build there. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to get into, but let's explore and check out all the pretty stuff around the area, just so that I can get some Batania flowers. Oh, I don't want to go all the way up to the top of that mountain. Let's not do that. Uh, one of the things that I have uh, tried to implement, I do not know if it is implemented. I'm not actually looking at the Twitch stream. Um, there should be an overlay from Streamlabs that allows you to play games and, um, I don't know, do all sorts of interesting things that I haven't, I haven't been able to test it to see what it does. Thank you. But um, I wanted someone to do that for me because it can't can't be tested in offline mode. It's only when the streamer is streaming to see if it's actually working or not. I do not know if it is. There is a cow baby. Isn't he cute? With the big head and yeah. 
Well, that's good to know. Because that's going to be, like, my loyalty points for people to who have wa keep watching me. They're going to get points to be able to spend to, you know, be mod for a day or to um, get special ability to ask me questions or I can't remember what other things I have in the rewards for using your loyalty points. Um, so yeah. Thank you, Mr. Piggy. Goodness, you've been busy. I want the truffles. Um, still none of the colors I actually need. Have you noticed this? And it's almost nighttime. Floating cow! Floating cow! It uh, does whatever a floating cow does. It's nighttime, so we're going to deal with mobs now. Whoop! Well, that's light gray. Helpful, but it's not dark gray. Or white. Or black. Hmm. Thought maybe at nighttime I might see the sparkles a bit better, but I'm not getting very lucky here. Seems to be relatively sparse in the Mega Taiga. Listen to that howl. Some of the sounds that you can hear from the dynamic surroundings are really interesting. Um. Creeper party. Creeper party. Skelly party. We'll go this way. Oh, I'm just not happy with my choices here. Um. I wonder what my, um... Uh, my keybind is for hover. I have to look that up. Yes, this game is so rigged. Oh. See green. Come on. Ooh, a uh, witch. Um, I'm about ready to give up. There's another piggies. Some piggies. I don't see any flowers here. I see, I see some doggos. Some puppies. No flowers. Probably because it's a Mega Taiga. Um, I'm gonna guess that that's probably a biome. That there's another witch up there. Alright, we're just gonna go back. Go home. Actually, home is what I wanted, isn't it? This is where I died last stream. Do I have a bed still up here? Um, I think so. Here we go. Mm -hmm. You guys are noticing the stuttering. It is because I forgot to restart my computer before I played. 
And I tend that tends to happen if I don't reboot my computer before I stream. I get a little bit of an issue, more issue with FPS. Um, yeah. Hello, the Buildmonger! Nice to see you. I need food. Alright, and we're gonna have to get some more. Let's see what- this is all stuff we've been getting from loot bags. Let's do the BLTs. BLTs are nice. Yeah. Alright. No luck on our flower hunt for the flowers that we need. But I don't want to spend forever hunting for flowers. So we will pick that up again next time. Let us upgrade our toolbox. Um, needs a chest and some gold. All right, so gold. You think I'll find it in here? Yep. Can't shift click it. All right, so there we got that. Mining is not the one. This is the one we want. Toolbox has been upgraded. Yay, we have two more rows of space for all of our valuables. Um, I don't like the, the same color. I am going to have to have one a different color than the other just because huh, just because it's easier on me that way to know which one's which since even though I have them named, it's still struggle. Mmm, so for armor, what should we really do? Should we do dark steel? I did dark steel in Age of Engineering, which makes sense because it's a tech pack. Um, I love Batania. I love Batania armor. I especially like the Terra Steel armor, and then you get, um, from killing the Gaia a few times, you get the... What are they called? The little, like, flickering sprites on your forehead type of thing. These. These wills, aren't they? I think so. I really like the way the terrestrial armor looks. Even the electrum arm, the, um, elementium armor is really cool. I just, I really appreciate that. The cloaks are neat. The one cloak that I've used is the Cloak of Virtue. Um, I'd have to look it up in the book to remember what it was useful for. But it's cool to wear cloaks. Cloaks are awesome. All these beautiful building blocks. I'm going to be using these. I've never used them before. And most people think they're insanely decorated, but I think these will be beautiful as tiles in um, the Astral Sorcery derp in the Sky Palace that we're going to be building up here. Sky Palace is going to go up here. I have a lot of building more to do, a lot more dirt, which now that I can make dirt. Um, making some islands. This is the second island I am working on. The others won't necessarily be attached. It just happens to be that this one is. But I'm going to be using marble and I'm going to use living rock. And some kind of blue, definitely mana glass. Um, blue slate is too dark. It's not the right color for me. Um, I'm thinking more of a the light blue that comes out of um, aquamarine, which is one of the things from Astral Sorcery. It doesn't you can't make uh, blocks of this, but this is the color that I want to draw out, and so I'm going to be doing um, 
something with that in the white. And I think I might see about if I can uh, vanilla, if I can silk touch the aquamarine shale in where I, where I find it. And I can use the little veins as decorative items. And um, I want to use the liquid starlight for additional flickering lighting. Um, <laughs> so yeah, mana glass. Might even use mana steel or mana diamonds have the right color too. Again, decorative blocks. Mana quartz is a pretty blue. I don't remember this. So yeah, white and blue, white and blue. And then of course the as it as well blah, blah, blah. whatever the Incredible valor, respectable <laughs> Thank you the grumpy bit for the host. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Oh, we could use Dreamwood. That's got a blue to it. All right, so there's lots of ideas for this. I just, I have, I've got a lot of preparation before we can get building up here. And I have a lot more astral sorcery to learn. Woohoo! All right. Let's head back to the beach house. Um, there was something I wanted to fix on the beach house. Is it that window? That window... From the inside, it looked like this window wasn't done. It's not! I have... Okay, you can see here, I have trim on the upper side of these windows here. I didn't do that one. Hmm... I wonder if I have... bits on me. No, I don't. Well, I might, actually. Where's my bit chisel? Let's take a look. I do! Alright. Yes, I have actually built with the temple blocks before. Yep. Alright, so we need to do Drawn Region, and we'll make our little trim. I noticed this when I was just walking around earlier. Let's tweak it and fix it. There we go. Oh, much better. Makes me happy. I think that was the only window I missed. Which made me like, what in the world did I do? I think that's the only window I missed. Yep, it is. Okay, so, good deal. What do I have in here again? Mm-hmm. Mining toolbox. All right. This is almost broken, so we need to decide to make a new helmet. And I think I might do mana steel. I actually have the iron. But, um, let's go take a look. For those of you guys who are being hosted by the Grumpy Brit, I just want to let you know that I am doing a 8 to 12 hour live stream marathon next Saturday. If you want to join me then, make sure you follow my channel so you can be notified when I go live. We are celebrating my um, affiliate status. Yay! So definitely make sure you follow if you're not already because um, we're going to be having a good time. We're going to play some Minecraft. We're going to probably play either Myst or Riven, uh, Stardew Valley. We're going to be doing some of the mini games that are on screen. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have lots of fun. I'm all about having fun. All right. We didn't need to do any more iron. 
Um, I only have eight levels, so we're not gonna enchant it. Should we wait till this dies? Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you. I am extremely happy about it. It is something that I did not expect would ever happen. So, awesome! Congrats to you too! That's awesome. Yay! All right. Um, are you gonna tell me without lapis what I could possibly get as an enchantment? Protection? Wait, no. Eleven four aqua affinity. Blurb. No thanks. What do I have for books up here? Last protection, protection. Du -du -du. You could put some protection on. I have no clue what scorching sh heat. Left shift. No description found. Ask astral sorcery. So I bet I could find it in the astral sorcery book. What scorching heat does. I bet I could. Um. There it is. Journal. Oh, I haven't unlocked it yet. <laughs> I have not unlocked a whole lot of this. I think we've pretty much unlocked the expiration chapter. For the most part, we didn't do the relay. Yeah. So... We need to do this chapter with attunement. Looking forward to the cave illuminator. So I believe tomorrow morning's stream will be astral sorcery. I believe that is what I'll be doing tomorrow morning is working on some astral sorcery. Learning some of this section. It looks, it looks so fascinating. Attunement, I think what I read correctly is that you could attune yourself to different constellations and get um, buffs and things from it. So that sounds awesome. Celestial gateways are a lot like, um, a lot like the waystones I'm using right now, except for it's sort of like you travel into the stars and then back down to the wherever it sends you. So you, they're not like the network is set up differently. It's created differently. So it's hard to describe. It's hard to explain. Um, but it's a way of fast traveling. And I think you can go through to different dimensions. I'm not, yeah, even those in another world. So you can even travel to the end, you can travel to nether, that sort of thing. So that I look forward to exploring and checking out. So, okay, let's put this in back in here. Let's put our diamond helmet in here. No, in here. And we'll put this on. Eh, it's okay. We do need to get some levels. Um, I haven't worked at all on the... Um, mob farm mob spawner farm that i have over in the roguelike dungeons so it is still extremely laggy um just because i don't have the loot drops being processed at all so they've been piling up and um causing a lot of sphere lag right now so i don't want to go there while i'm streaming until i get that fixed so yeah gotta work on that <laughs> But um, for those of you who just joined, let me show you where I've been doing the bulk of my building right now. It's up here in the Steampunk Cliffs. We need I meant to add roofs before stream and I just never got around to playing. But we've got a couple of houses here, a couple of stacked houses, a smaller house here. And then we've got, um, I don't know, 
an another style of house. This actually has my coke oven in it from Immersive Engineering, my blast furnace from Immersive Engineering, and then this is going to be my factory for Immersive Engineering stuff in here that I have partially finished. I need to put a bunch of windows or whatever I plan on doing in the walls. And so that's what that is there for. But yeah, I didn't want to do building today because we did building yesterday. Should we see if my hamster is still here that I have trapped? That I would like to tame and um, make a big old hamster, um, what, hamster theme park? A hamster tubes, you know, tube system. Yes, he's still in here. Hi there! <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, 99 Blocks, the pack creator, linked me to another um, YouTube creator who is doing his pack that actually made hamster tunnels. And I'm, I want to watch it. I haven't yet. I have it bookmarked. Um, I'm definitely going to be inspired by them. Cool and uh, looking forward to that, so yeah. I'm looking around, I'm trying to figure out what else I want to do. I don't want to do something super involving because we're nearing the the end side of my stream, so I don't want to get into something so involved that I don't, that I leave in the middle of something. Um, we were working on Batania. What is the next step for Batania? The runes that we were working on. We have nether, nether, not yet. I should find out about doing agricraft with these. I bet they require a darker space. Hmm. Actually, can we do that with mystical agriculture? Very likely. What does it require? Nether Essence and Nature Essence. We have Nature Essence being made. Nether Essence is a tier 2, so we'll be able to make that next. Just requires Nether Clusters? I can- oh, I need to go get Soul Sand. Don't have Soul Sand. You can trans- you can transmute Nether Wart blocks into it. Don't have the Nether Wart. Good to know, though. Um, I am going to avoid the uh, environmental tech in this pack just because I'm just trying new and different things that I, I that I didn't play with in Age of Engineering. So yeah, no to environmental tech. Um, refined storage I have played with before in my spilled juice series one and two playthroughs but it's got more stuff to it now and it's a little bit different it's been improved and I never played uh, applied energistics one to know what this is based off of so it's been really interesting but um, yeah so what do you guys want to see what are you looking forward to seeing in here I, I'm a builder I'm a builder I do the building I have plans for different base areas like the steampunk cliffs and the sky palace it's gonna go over there um, the enchanted forest I have to find a really nice forest and I want to create a farming village for my agricraft food crops I don't want to go run like looking for more flowers but we really do need to figure out um, we need to do Britannia progression. Let's take a look at where we are in that. I don't want to make that. Mana on rails. Functional flowers. Okay. So sparks. Can we make sparks yet? Mmm, mana blaster's cool. Potion making. 
Rock Bell. This one is actually named after my moniker, Winry Rock Bell from um, Full Metal Alchemist. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, not far. We're not far from Terra Steel. We could see what's required to make the agglomeration plate. Agglom agglomeration plate. See, this is what we're going to need to make. Um, this one is where we're stuck on. We can make, we, we actually have one of these and one of those. The Rune of Water we can make, and the Rune of Mana we can make. So we're almost to making this, we just don't have enough mana to create the Terra Steel. But that is not that far off. Um, what is... What is the recipe for the Gormorillus? Summer and fire. We're stuck at the fire. We, we're working on the nether wart for the fire. And we've made summer already once tonight. Um, am I in the version that changes the Gormorillus so that you have to have more than one food type? No. Okay, it must be a future version of Batania that nerfs the Gormorillus. So we'll be able to use just one food type to feed the Gormorillus in this version. And again, we need that fire rune. Yay! <laughs> We're waiting on Netherwart in order to make this too. <laughs> Fantastic. Now we got a so many of these books. So. All right. So I have some more of these leveled up, as you can see. I've been working on those a little bit. Off I've been doing these between streams because this is boring work. This is stuff that no one wants to watch me just run around and scan seeds all day. So I haven't added any more to my 10, 10, 10 pile, but I do have some that are close. So, yeah. Uh, these are just the tier one seeds, the ones you can find in the world. I haven't done any mutations. Um, let me show you. These seeds. I haven't done any of the tier two or the tier three mutations. So I still have a lot of seeds to fiddle fart around with. Um... So yeah, let's see if we've accomplished anything else. I don't think there's anything else in here. And like I said, I'll probably do some of the quests. I killed him. Why did I, why did it not get detected? Oh, that's probably what didn't detect. One, no, it didn't detect that I killed an ancient golem. Hmm, I have an Eye of the Ancients, though. Alright. We did most of this chapter. This is refined storage and whatnot. Tinkers, I'm not that concerned about. This is the Animania stuff that I don't know anything of. This is another one I don't know anything of. This is Mine Colonies. Don't know anything about Mine Colonies, but it's an interesting way to automate. Uh, different things like mining, tree chopping, crop planting, that sort of thing. So that's a fascinating way to do that. I'm not sure if I'll get into it. Yeah, not sure. So I don't think I have anything unlocked any further. This is the one we just did tonight. Um, this is building tools, deco craft. Um... I have to make a diamond chisel in order to unlock that one. Which doesn't make sense because this pack has disabled 
du durability on the chisels. Um, this is cooking with blockheads, astral sorcery. This is uh, in Andreo, I think. Yeah. I have. I have some things to claim. Let's claim these things from what I did uh, some work the other day on getting Indorio started. So there's those. Woohoo! What's this? Oh, yeah. So, water. I need to hold some of this essence. Gotcha. Haven't unlocked that one yet or that one. These are ones that we have though, and we're working on the fire right now. That's good to know with that one. So yeah, we're doing real good. I'm sorry that I've just spent time just looking at stuff. Oh, look at that. It's nighttime. I am enjoying this pack. I think it's a, a relaxing change from Age of Engineering. But that said, if anyone has any suggestions for another mod pack, something to play along with this one, Throw it down there in the comments. Um, I am taking suggestions right now for a mod pack to play. Um, maybe one that Edward might be interested in. He's currently on a Minecraft break. He tends to get burned out and need to take a break for a while. Whereas I just play and play and play and play. So if any of you have Minecraft mod pack suggestions, I will take them. This is still going, huh? Oh, good, it's almost done. Um, which way are you pointing? Oh, of course, so I've been wasting my mana. <sighs> Where is my wand? A normal pack, Demethan? You mean like a just fun to play kitchen sink type of thing? Not a progression based altered recipes sort of thing? Yeah. That would be something nice to do. Um. I've actually been watching the development of the Foolcraft 2 mod pack that the Hermitcraft people are playing. It's not out for everyone to play just yet, but I have been watching, you know, watching them play it. There's currently quite a few bugs that they keep finding, so it's not something I'm interested in poking in until it's more stable. But that is one that looks interesting. Just because it's easy and OP and fun, and I think I'd I would enjoy um, chance cubes, and I would even probably no Foolcraft Two is not out yet, um, but the Hermitcraft people are currently playing it. It will be out soon. They tend to release it approximately a month to a month and a half after they start playing it, and they've been playing it for two weeks, so I'm keeping an eye on it. It is one that I might be interested in playing with, uh, especially, like I said, I especially like the idea of chance cubes and um, incorporating chance cube funness in my streams. I think that would be fun. Um, but yeah, I have that idea in mind. What other mod packs have I looked at? The one from the Radon group, Radon the, the Radon pack from 112, and then all the mods th um, 3 for 112. I looked at that one too. So those are ones I'm interested in looking at some more. I think Radon is the name of it. Now I have to look at my... Yeah, Radon. <laughs> I was like, I have to bring it up. But um, So that sounds interesting to me. So. <sighs> 
Uh, I haven't even tried loading the pack to know whether or not it's optimized. <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't know. And with how old my computer is getting, I have to be careful about that. I should take this stuff out. I have my poor Tinker Smeltery in here. What do I have in there? It looks full of something. Oh, little bits of stuff here and there. Gotcha. <sighs> well, folks, since I am waiting for Nether War in order to be able to do further progression in Batania, I think I'm probably going to call it here for tonight. I will be streaming tomorrow morning approximately 12 hours from now. So set your clock or hit that follow button so you can be notified when I go live tomorrow morning. I'll be doing some more of this pack right here. We'll be doing some progression in Astral Sorcery for sure. I'm looking forward to digging into that. I don't know squat about the mod, so that'll be fun to get into. And maybe we'll have some Nether Wart by then. <laughs> we can do the uh, Batania stuff. Again, this is single player. Ooh, mature! This is single player, so, um, yeah, I have to actually be AFK here in order for things to run. But this this uh, area right here is spawn chunks, so I don't have to worry about too much when I run and go off and do stuff. It'll still load. But Alright, folks. I hope you had a good evening hanging out with me. Thank you so much for everyone who has followed me and subscribed to me. And I love the hosts, so keep those up. I will be back again tomorrow morning, like I said, 9 a.m., 12 hours from now. So I will see everyone back then. Have a good one, folks. Bye!